Missy. I'm going to uh, do the scarf floppy head trick today. Um, I have to talk quietly because Lucy's asleep, so hopefully you can hear me. If not, yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, so you've got a scarf. I like to use the Techni scarfs because um, they're a nice good length, but they're also very airy and thin so the baby's head doesn't get real hot. Um, she's not floppy today because I have her high enough up, but You've seen me do it a lot, so obviously it comes in handy. Anyways, I'm uh, by a mirror, so if you see me looking this way, it's because I need to see where I'm at with the scarf. Okay, so I basically kind of gather it up like so, and then I uh, come over my head and over, as you can see, the baby's head like that. One side's going to be up over. Um, my shoulder and the other side's gonna go over or under her leg. So we're gonna kind of gently, so as not to wake the baby, go over like so. I'm gonna go this way so you can see also. And then we're gonna put one underneath her leg. I don't think I've got the camera low enough so that you can see it, but here it is. It's come underneath her leg. Maybe if I scoot back. Anyways, okay, so it's under her leg, and this one's over my shoulder. This one's under my arm. Now, what I'm going to do is take this and spread it over her head, because if it's just kind of under or along her neck, it'll work um, and keep her head cooler, but I don't know. I feel like it's a little bit more, possibly more painful for her neck in that case. So you'll pull, I treat the scarf like a wrap as if it has rails. I'll take a rail and kind of pull it up, like so, so that it comes up over her head. And then I bring it gently over and kind of gather the rest of the scarf up. Now, you see it's over her head. All the way, it's supporting all of her head except for her face, obviously. This one being underneath her foot has basically stayed secure the whole time. Now don't jerk on this, obviously, your baby's asleep, I mean, come on. But this one stayed secure because it's, if you can see, up under her leg. So, at this point, um, I like to slip this part that's over her head through a ruck strap or, I mean, it depends on what kind of carry you're doing but uh, you can incorporate it into the carry and it helps keep it off of your neck and uh, it helps it stay a little more secure as well. So I like to uh, tuck it underneath the ruck strap, trying to keep the tension up so it doesn't slip off of her head, as you can see. So underneath the ruck strap, It's still nice and secure over her head. And then I'm just gonna tie right here on my chest. Or if you have a long, if you wanna tie it lower, like so, you can, like so. Or, you know, way over here if you want to. It doesn't matter where you tie it off, whatever's most comfortable for you. So just do a little square knot. good to go. And then no more head flop. See? Voila. Thank you.